All right. Good evening. Or late afternoon. It's not even four here yet, so I don't think that's that really qualifies as evening. We're going to call that afternoon. Late afternoon. Hi, guys. I'm back. Good evening to whomever has joined me. <sighs> you know, sometimes you, you get an urge. You get an idea in your head, something you, you want, and it just sticks in your head and keeps scratching away at the back of your brain. I haven't talked to Bob in years. I haven't... Uh, I want to listen to that record. I haven't listened to that record for years. Ooh, there's a movie I want to see. Yeah, I should go do that. For me, it was... Man, I would like burgers and beers. I ate the burgers. Now I'm having the beers. Hi, guys. Actually, it was a burger and uh, two tacos and fries. Uh, I always have a backup plan. There we are. This is where I left us a couple of nights ago. Outside the prison facility on the prison planet, which I'm sure is a lovely and uh, happy place. This ocular implant was a worthwhile investment. Yes, it definitely was. Ocular implant. I should probably check and see if there's any new gear I should be equipping. I'm not seeing anything, obvious. A lot of this stuff is quest stuff. Oh, there we are. Let's see. Um, so, that's not as good as my current sniper rifle. We've got those. The long lays. It appears to be a Higher damage, slightly lower shot, slightly longer range, more ammo. I guess we'll equip that on, on me. A shotgun. Well, let's see. He currently only has his sword, but if he's going to be in close proximity, he might be very well served with a shotgun as a backup. And that's the staff of House Orcelio, I think. She has one of those and a side pistol. And we have a scrappy auto gun, which is junk. Those appear to be junk. Anything new here? Carapace chest plate, also light armor. Dodge, reducing damage. Um, sure, why not her? She had on an armored body glove. But now she's in something a little more chunky. Come in. Come in, escort. This is Captain Vicari. Escort, please, come in. Pilot Rachel, the pale young woman, looks at you with a mixture of hope and disbelief in her eyes. You notice her hands trembling as she clutches her weapon. Who are you? Did you come from the planet of your reinforcements? Saint's teeth, I thought you'd never come. Abelard, teach this riffraff the proper way of addressing her sovereign. That, that, that seems a bit over the top. Tell me about this planetoid. What happened here? I have no time for long-winded talks. Brief me on the situation ahead and do be concise. We are looking for a man named Heinrich von Kalox. Is he here, perhaps? What happened here? There's been a prison riot on the planet. Imagine my surprise. A prison riot on the planetoid. Sadly, it is being led by the prison warden himself, the hon Honorable Anathagon Castiglia. He has allied himself with the rabble that he himself was supposed to watch and declared Rikadi Philia to be an independent of the authority of the system's lawful governor. I came here as a shuttle pilot alongside the Honorable Evane Winterscale, son of Caligos Winterscale, rogue traitor, vanquisher of Xenos, forever triumphant over the enemies of humanity. 
The young Lord Winterscale wished to speak to the warden personally so he could put an end to this lawless treason. He and his escort went ahead. And I haven't been able to contact them over Vox for a very long time now. Decision consequences. I was late to arrive on Rykati Felia. Well, I went to the other place first, I guess. And Oh, well. <coughs> New quest, the Chosen Ones. Rykati Felia, the prison planetoid, corrupted by heresy. And other stuff, too. Evain, Evain, Abelard mutters, stroking his beard. One of his distant younger offspring, yes. That's as much as I know about him, which means he hasn't distinguished himself in any meaningful way. Cassia, Evain Winterscale has made several diplomatic visits to Eorak V on behalf of his father, rogue trader Caligos Winterscale. The great regent would not have granted entry to someone dishonorable, which means whatever happened in this terrible, malodorous place must... We must aid this man of noble blood. Must we really? <coughs> the warden himself is spearheading the riot? Yes. No one expected this. Master Casteglia is a nobleman from a respected governor house and a vassal to house winter scale. All of a sudden, he proclaimed that Rakadi Felia is now his personal domain, and the prisoners were his subjects, and he would never bow to anyone again. It's pure heresy. Heresy. In Warhammer 40k. Who'd have thought? And Adira says, I take it they're looking forward to a diet of sand and gravel. What kind of madman would start a revolt on a barren rock? Good evening. Well, it can be a fun time for us, but we certainly cannot be surprised that the prison planet has a rebellion going on. It's a little surprising it's the warden in charge, but then people go crazy in a lot of ways in Warhammer 40k. Have you noticed? Why would young Winterscale have felt the need to parley with dissidents? It's a personal matter. Master Casteglia, the seditious warden, is Lord Evain's childhood friend. When my lord heard of the riot, the news saddened him greatly, and so he rushed here without delay in hopes of bringing his old friend to his senses, no doubt. The first winter scale in my memory who prefers to talk first rather than shoot and slash. If a planetary governor can rebel, a prison warden sure can. Okay, that's a good point. Although generally the, the warden is a little bit more focused, them bad, me in charge. Whereas a governor is me in charge, them bad. You make a point. She smiles faintly. Lord Winterscale is not his father's shadow. If he is determined to save his friend, he won't back down. I pray to the throne that he is alive and well. He's been gone for such a long time, and I really don't like this place. Cassia frowns in confusion. Theobald executed his wife and only son on the mere suspicion of treason against House Orselio. So why did the noble Evain rush to someone who had betrayed his house? Do bonds of friendship give one the right to make inexcusable mistakes? I don't know. I've been wingman in a lot of really questionable choices. I'm looking for a man by the name of Heinrich von Kalox. He is here, perhaps? Unless it's one of the prisoners or guards, then it seems unlikely. There are no shuttles in working order other than yours and mine. There's nothing anyone else could have used to reach this place. Yeah, I figured. Thought I'd ask. Uh, is there anything else I should be apprised of before I set out? Some of the rebels have holed up in the barracks. Pardon me for a moment. I'm parched. I don't know how many, but... Given this is the only way through to where the negotiations are taking place, I would expect heavy resistance. Please take caution, your lordship. Lord Winterscale's guards mined the entrance so that the rebels couldn't get to the shuttle. Well, that's helpful. Uh, tell me about the planetoid. The only settlement on Rykati Prime is a penal colony. That's P-E-N-A-L, okay? Not the other thing. The prisoners work in the mines and the domed quarries. They mine sulfur, serum dust, and sand, which is then melted down, a rather nondescript place, or so it was prior to current events. I have no more questions. You may excuse yourself, Pilot. 
She freezes for a moment before asking, Has it been your lordship? If I may have a minute of your time, I wouldn't ever have dared to trouble you with a personal matter, but the situation... In any case, have you been to the capital Rykad Menorah yet? I wanted to ask if you saw a man there, a communications officer by the name of Jasper. I have not yet been to Rykad Menorah, and I know nothing of this officer's fate. That's a shame. May the Emperor keep that fool from harm. Thank you for your time, your lordship. My favorite bit in the game so far is the description of the Emperor of Mankind. The guide, the ruler, the higher power to which humanity offers their prayers for aid and deliverance. Most would be driven mad with despair if they knew the truth. The Divine Presence who sits on the Golden Throne of Terror. I hadn't even read this second part. In the heart of Imperium, towering over his willing servants as their rightful master. He is depicted and worshipped in myriad forms by souls beyond counting. Throughout the Imperium, humankind is united and remains one of the most powerful intelligent species in the world. Oh, they don't really talk about the truth of it then. That's probably just as good, just as well. Because if they knew, oh boy. She bows and tell by expression, desperation in her eyes, she's exhausted, frightened, and wishes off the planetoid as soon as possible. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Ah, I couldn't have said it better. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. Not really sure what it means, but I couldn't have said it any better. Okay, let's see. To draft, to disarm the trap. The Emperor favors me today. He sure does. The Emperor favors you every day. You're a member of the Sororitas. Or he would favor you if he wasn't, you know, a corpse. Uh, this guard post has been vacant for a long time. There's a layer of dust on every surface. I always keep my options open. I always keep my options open, too. Always keep your eye on the prize. To the barracks. Idira. Is there Remains. something you wish to tell me about? Namely, the mess in the wardroom last week. What? Ugh, stop blaming me every time one of the officers flies off the handle, old man. Not every brawl or disaster on this ship is because of me. Careful with the use of the epithet, old man, okay? We don't stand for the casual use of that word around here. The remains of a meal, one far too lavish for even a hive world, let alone a prison colony. We have loot! I will not, I will resist my urge and not go running off after the loot. A long string of names extends beneath the heading, Top Quarry Workers of the Cycle. Oh, it's nice to know that the worker of the week or the month tradition lives on in the distant future. The Whispers told me a secret. Okay, uh, we've got a mine there. Let's see. We need... The Emperor sets my path. ...to work alone. Why aren't... Oh, it's paused. Cast your eye there. No, stop moving, Abelard. Let us not dawdle. I'm restless. Disarm I better myself through my service. And... Blessed be the road that we take. Uh, sure, blessed be the road we take. Scraps of a typical prison food, repulsive to the senses. Never doubt me. I never will doubt you. I've never doubted you in the past. I'm not going to start now. Get everyone back together, having taken care of the um, minefields that have been laid down. Venerable. Optimates, the best among us. The list is faded and the name's barely legible. 
I always have a backup plan. Let's see, we are there. So there should be some loot over where is it? Grok shit, why me? Why? I missed my tithe payment 12 years ago. 12 years! The inspector's writ got lost somewhere in the bowels of the planetary administratum and was laying there this whole time. But they made sure to remember to tack on the fines every month. By the time they finally found the blasted paper and finally informed me, the total sum was so obscene it would take three generations of my descendants, if I had any, to pay it off. My fate was sealed. Trying to read that. What did I do with it? There we go. Trial, sentence, prison. All because some draft rotter who shoved my paper in the wrong box. To be fair, I think I got off pretty easy. My bed in the barracks is about as hard as that slab of rockcrete we got at home. Working in the quarry isn't much tougher than my old job, and the rules void take me. That old sod that governs Reich Edmund Norris is a bloody sadist by comparison. It's a strange old place. I haven't been beaten once yet. The guards bark orders all the time, but they never hit us. They also got this kind of inner circle of special chosen prisoners, the optimatum, they call it. If you can get in, Emperor's my witness, you can get an actual day off. They let you out of your cell and into the yard by the big barracks, and I tell you what, they let you rest there and feed you better than whatever swill they're giving us in the canteen. They told me it's to improve our motivation and all that, to foster a stronger desire to reform and become a more worthy servant of the Imperium once more. But I know it what, for what it is. Just a club for the warden's favorites. The same story as everywhere else. Suck up to the people in power and get some swanky perks. This is a very, very savvy prisoner, I have to say. They say the whole thing was the warden's idea man, our warden. He looks more noble than nobility itself. Tall, groomed, teeth even, eyes burning, boots so polished you can see yourself when you move to lick them. But that nutter doesn't much want people licking his boots. He walks around looking like he's deep in thought. All right, with only a couple of guards at his side. And he sometimes, if you can believe it, talks to prisoners. What's your name? He asks them all quiet like. Why were you condemned? Do you feel remorse? He never even yells at no one. Never orders to have him flogged. Instead, he doles rewards out to the special ones. Keeps telling us things like how we should strive to make society believe in us again. Uh, whatever you say, Master Warden, starting tomorrow, I'll be trying to join these optimates of yours. I'm stuck here until the day I die. And that means no return to society for me. With the Emperor's help, I might just join the ranks of the local elite. I like Ati Sean, the pr prisoner here. He's got the right attitude. We've got more stuff over here, I think. The Chosen Ones, Warren Castiglia. Oh. You will beg for mercy, but I will grant none. You make a suitable hey sacrifice. Hi, hi there, Abelard. Thanks for piping up. Cassia is an officer in your ship's navigator. She strikes foes with energies of the warp and supports the party by making her allies stronger. Voice of Command is an officer ability that increases allies' characteristics for one round, also allows the officer to use other officer archetype abilities on that ally, for ally from any distance. The higher the officer's fellowship bonuses, the more the target's characteristics are increased. Increased? Increased. English, I'm hard. English, I'm going to get harder. An officer can use Voice of Command again on the same ally only after two rounds have passed. Bring it down is an officer ability that lets them immediately pass the turn to an ally. The ally does not gain any movement points for this extra turn, but they do gain a number of action points. The ally is under the effect of voice of command and destroys an enemy before the end of the officer's turn. The ally will be granted extra momentum for this kill. Lidless Stare is a unique damaging ability that assails all targets in a wide cone in front of the navigator with warp energies. The damage dealt is based on the Navigator's willpower bonus. All creatures targeted will have a resistance test or become stunned. Let's see. So, what do we have? We have how many of them? Lots of prisoners. Including a nimble prisoner. All right, let's see. 
Oh, I've been ambushed, so I don't get to move my characters around. Cassia is first. Well, she can't use any of her... Well, she should be able to move. So if she moves, she may be able to those three people with her nifty eye skill. And then Abelard can follow her up by um, whacking people with a sword. I find whacking people with a sword to be very effective when Abelard does it. All right, Cassia. Let's see. We move her, let's say, to here. What do we got? That's the lidless stare. And what's the all creatures within range? Oh, unlimited range. Unlimited seems like to me to be a very good range. I like that range. Well, let's put her, I think, here. Be careful not to cross my gaze. Well, yes, but we actually want them to cross your gaze, dear. So that should hit four of them, I do believe. And some of them will probably be stunned. Or Celio. Or dead. Okay, dead's fine. It works for me. Um, well, that simplifies things a good deal, as now we have just one to go. Uh, next up would be Abelard. Hi, Abelard. Do you want to... Um, let's see. If you take a run over here... I've seen worse battles than this in my time. And you charge this guy. He's not dead yet. But I expect he will be after you take your second swing. Indeed. Indeed. Reduce to dust. Our momentum. Well, we've got momentum. I don't think we need it, though, because... Uh, oh, we've got more prisoners over there. Are they all going to come and play? I bring ruin. Huh? Oh, she's... That was not the most successful of um, attempts to, uh, like, kill. I will bathe this battlefield in righteous fury. We can count on Argenta to perk up everyone's morale. Believers. Well, I'm a believer. I'm just not necessarily a believer in the things that you're a believer in. We'll give Adira a little bit of cover. I don't think she can. Well, maybe she can. Can she hit them? Oh, she can. No, can do. Nope, she can't. It, it was. Yeah, it was going to try. And one lens. That would be me. I don't need luck. I have strategy. I don't need luck. I have strategy. I serve the ruinous powers. Okay. Maybe you want, might want to reconsider that. Just putting that out there. Battlefields are always drowned in scarlet. Swap weapons. Hmm. Oh, I guess that is it. It's a two-handed. It's a two-handed, effectively a choppy weapon. I, I had no idea. Let's see. Uh, voice of command forces an ally to fully push themselves. Bring it down. Grants an ally an extra turn with two AP. If this ally is under the effective voice of command, kills an enemy. We gain additional momentum. Thanks of fate. Ah, well, let's try... Uh, bring it down. I'm afraid not. Oh, uh, too far on Avalar. Okay. Voice of command on Avalar? I am a navigator, not a servitor. Okay. 
Good to know. She's a navigator, not a surveyor. Everyone take note. And next up will be Abelard. Abelard is going to be, um, not to put too fine a point on it, he's going to be killing people. I don't think they're going to allow me to do that. Or that. Or that. Had to check. Endure. All incoming damage is reduced by three. Let's go ahead and put on an endure. That prisoner has only one hit point. Uh, I don't think they're gonna have much luck here at all. Victory is imminent. Did I miss? Did I did I miss? I seem to have missed. Do I have enough? At your back and call. For another attack. Uh-huh. Uh for Valencius! Evidently I wasn't quite close enough. A tactically sound approach. Thank you. I try to be sac tactically sound with my approaches. I will do my duty. I took care of this one. I certainly did take care of that one. And that one. Abelard, can you reach that one? I don't think so, but we'll, we'll give it a try anyway. That's not the Seneschal's job. Okay. Oh, that, that was a good, good... Such is the will of chaos! Did that, uh... Appears to have blinded uh, the prisoner. Let's see who's up... Who, who's up next? Argenta. Guided by faith! Whatever. Whatever keeps you up, uh... Lord, let's just sleep at night. How about... Faith without deeds can escape the Emperor's judgment. Uh, that's an earth-shattering kaboom to the melon on that one. Who's up next? Idira. I don't think she's got LOS. She does not. That means... Up I'm next is your truly PNG 260 by 336. I have read tomes of military tactics. I'm sure that's useful. Abelard. My place is at the four. Or possibly the five. Abelard, why don't you... Uh, at your back and forth. Uh, swing and a hit. Wait, he's not dead? Well, oh, we can't have Victory that. Victory is imminent. Someone else can do this. Crush well, at least we let him get a few words out before we uh, crash that court. Good evening, everyone. Earlier today, I got a, a notion in my mind that I wanted burgers and beer, even though I know I shouldn't, and yet I did. Sometimes, you consult the appropriate treaties on Tactica Imperialis and Thanks. weigh every step. Thanks, Abelard. Sometimes, though, you just fire your biggest cannon and save the day. That sounds like a plan, certainly. What do we have? A whole bunch of dead prisoners. Inspect the poster. An expected result. The grease-stained... Let's actually go back to me here. Fate and fortune favor the bold. These cages have been placed in plain view of the beds. Inside are traces of blood and excrement. Oh, so apparently some prisoners were in cages and some were in beds. That's... We are the spearhead of the Tear Imperium. Tear off the poster and examine the wall behind it. Ooh! Fat loot! Nothing. 
Neither of those is impressive, but those are. Actually, we didn't want that. Oh, crap, we didn't want. Anyway. Back to me being. It's no waste time with pleasantries. Check the prisoner. We got a lot of shanks and knives. We've got chain mail. Wasn't expecting chain mail from the prisoners. Bare beds made from metal sheets swing back and forth from rusted chains. Whoever is forced to sleep on them, it wouldn't take much for them to fall. Interesting, I'm trying to figure out exactly how uncomfortable it would be to be sleep on a bed that was hanging from chains. Sleeping on a metal sheet, obviously not comfortable. Let's see, uh, right, we've got a lot of dead bodies. I don't think we've got any other standard, you might call it, treasure sitting around. It's all dead prisoner loot, I think. All right, everybody. Huddle up. Did we get everybody? There we go. The light this? of terror shines for us. Yeah, just the same loot off all the dead guys. Oh, we got another looky here. The beds here are bolted to the floor and have thin, torn bed sheets and even tattered pillows. So, like, there's this hierarchy of. Sleep in a cage, sleep on a metal sheet, sleep in an actual sort of bed. Regardless, it, it's not sounding like a particularly uh, lovely educational experience, shall we say? Uh, he's got a stub revolver. That might be useful. Flat chest plate possibly useful. Force grenade. Probably useful. Okay, consumables. You found a consumable item. Grenades, stimulants, med kits, and other consumables can be placed in quick access slots. To do this, double-click on such an item, or mouse button, or drag it to the highlighted slot. Each consumable has a certain number of uses, as with most actions in combat, using consumable spends character's action. If I could see the golden light of the Astronomicon as you see it, Cassia, I would probably go still forever, unable to take my eyes off the radiance of the Emperor for an instant. Argenta. I think you would manage. You have different hues of light within you. Gold, silver, and crimson. One of them would call you back to this world. So, every single character in my little retinue of characters is insane. But all in their own perfectly charming way. I... I did it? Yes, you did it! I will lead us to fortune. Oh, it, it helps if I keep up with the gang, doesn't it? I didn't even have to shoot. Well, I'm conserving my ammunition for more important um, individuals. I didn't go in here. I should take a quick look. Oh, yeah, yeah. Judging by the number of horrid morsels, dozens of victims were slain here. Is there money to be made? That's a very me thing to say, but I don't think there's a, much money to be made from all the um, various and sundry dead people. Oh, they've been chopping people up. This is not a winning formula for making friends and influencing people. The chopped up slabs of flesh have been thoroughly washed of any blood. Well, that's nice. At least they're, you know, washing them off. Severed human body parts. Okay, good. 
I always get the, symbol the job before you done. has a familiar scent, that of the dark forces of chaos. Yeah, that's a chaos symbol. The eight-pointed star, that's kind of their deal. That's what they do. There's just a whole lot of not great going on here. So much for the warden being a uh, positive influence on people. Did everybody come with? It does look like everybody came with. Just as I planned. Uh huh. Good. I have tech use. Oh, we've got my brethren, the dawn is nigh. The optimates guide us into a new existence. Are they enemies? Yes, yes, dear brethren, have a taste of my steel. I'm thinking probably not friendlies. Oh, I have longed for this, my dear brethren. Okay. Prisoner, thank the throne. Normal looking faces. We thought we were going to die here with these nutters. The old man with a gap tooth smile drops his weapon and holds out his hands in a placating gesture. Please don't shoot us, your noblest nobleness. Let us speak a word. Abelard, well, this is a welcome change. Talking before shooting still, Lord Captain. Look at this ragtag bunch hardly inspires trust. I don't know, they don't look too terribly awful. Give me a reason not to execute. I came across a void ship in the system belonging to your associates. They sold, told me some interesting things about you and your plan to escape. Consider your quest denied, not die. The man grunts, huffs, and makes up his mind. Well now, that's out of the bag. Our fellows were supposed to come get us a long time ago, but they got tied up somewhere. Void Kraken's gullet with them. And in all this time we had to wait, this happened. Pardon me for trying to pull the synth wool over here. It's just that we want nothing to do with this whole warden nonsense. So what now? You let us go? And Tara cracks her neck. Sure, no problem. Today you tell us a little lie. Tomorrow you stick a torpedo in our side from that ship of yours. If it doesn't fall apart the moment our helmsman sneezes in its general direction. Give me a reason not to execute you on the spot. Like, more rep with your uh, organization for future trading purposes would be a good choice. Here's the deal. We're honest, quiet inmates. We don't... We didn't want to riot. But, well, sitting it out wasn't really an option, either. The warden's lapdogs made short work of those who refused to join in the festivities, so we had to play alone. But that's all it was, play! Except for the dead bodies. Th those weren't really play, I guess. We never meant no offense to Governor Medina, or the lawful authority of House Winterscale. Give us a chance, eh? We just want to wait until everything blows over. We can get back in our cells and quietly do the rest of our time. Abelard, a repentant, honest heretic. How novel. Cassia, the lowborn speech is modeled in colors that conceal his true, darker hues. This old man has a long history of lies, and he's using his wiles on us as well. But I see no foul corruption or ill intent in his words. Tell me more about the warden and the riot while I savor an adult leisure beverage. <sighs> ah, why you soil your, soil your tongue talking about that heretic. But if you insist, here's how it is. The warden of this here prison, the Honorable Master Casteglia, was a crackpot from the start. The previous warden ran things a proper way. Prayer, one meal a day, work, a punch in the chompers from the guards, work again. But the new one, you know what his first decree was? He introduced lunches and dinners. By the nine devils, that's three meals a day. Man was obviously stark raving mad. Things only went downhill from there. The guards quit it with teeth punching. The warden forbade them. Instead, the overseers started counting which prisoners were digging up more things in the quarry or swinging the pickaxes harder or whatnot. And then, would you believe it? They put together a list of the best workers. And if someone on that list showed good behavior, they'd get promoted to an optimate. That's the upper crust among us jailbirds. That's how it was at first. Then the warden decided it's the optimists, not the guards, who should be optimists, not the guards who should be in charge of punishments. And that, it wasn't the overseer's job to watch the prisoners work, it was the optimates. Well, let me tell you, that's when these goody two-shoes really started to shine. 
The guards aren't even in the same league with our dear fellows, the Optimates. In the old days, we had maybe five or ten stiffs kicking it a week, and now, well, we're lucky if it was only fifty. Yes, we're going to take these prisoners and put them in charge of the other prisoners. They're certain to ple be every treat everyone with uh, respect and uh, attention to individual liberty and freedom. And that wasn't even the end of it. Warden Casteglia moved out of his chambers to live right in the quarry, under the dome. And I think something in his new home really scrambled his brain. He began spouting the wildest things, like the Optimates are saints who will behold the truth. And he started taking them to the quarry. Not all of them returned. The ones who did, you wouldn't recognize them. More beast than man. They were butchering people left and right, even guards and overseers. The warden himself had armed them. And that's the whole sob story, but I knew it from the moment he let us have dinner. Oh, this is going to end well. Adira nods knowingly. The old codger's right. Whenever nobles start giving handouts to commoners, something always goes wrong. Wow, I really like the um, mid-16th century attitude towards uh, penitentiaries. I mean that with all due respect, your lordship. No offense intended. If I spare you, what do I gain from it? Uh, uh, how can lowly jailbirds hope to thank your noble self? I have an inkling. You see us here, we're, how should I put this, different from the rest of the prisoners in this place. They're all petty thieves from Rykad, Menorahs, debtors, gutter snipes. They're no one serious now. We, your nobleness, are cut from a different cloth altogether. We're fortune seekers from the void. Why don't we tell you where on the Footfall Station? You know, Footfall, the only shipyard and the best market in all of the Corona's expanse? Yeah, so where on Footfall you can find some very serious business-minded people and how you can get yourself a very special discount from them on some very special goods. What kind of very serious people? The most serious kind, your nobleness. Have you heard about the Fellowship of the Void? I already am halfway to rank one of uh, my reputation. It's the largest pirate alliance in the Expanse. There's no leader, of course, but there are some terribly serious captains who decide that cutting each other's throats over loot was, uh, what do you call it, counterproductive. But cutting throats together, now that's anti-counterproductive. And, well, their joint efforts leave them with an excess of spoilers. That, holy crap, it's working? Oh, it's a subscription, okay. First, thank you very, very much for the resub. Great guy playing great games. Uh, I see I'm not the only one who's been drinking this evening. Second, thank you very, very much. Rox Rafa has subscribed to Tier 1 for three months and clearly has suffered a recent head trauma. Thirdly, I was overly enthused because I thought we had fixed the alerts, but no, that's the only alert that works. Subs. Raids alerts don't work. Follow alerts don't work. Just that. I spent a good part of yesterday banging my head against it, and I can't find the solution. Fourth, again, thank you for the sub. Very much. <clears throat> And well, their joint efforts leave them with an excess of spoil, so they need to dispose of it somehow. And I, your nobleness, just happen to know someone who handles such kinds of dealings on behalf of the very serious people. Very well, I will spare you. Oh, it's so great to hear your nobleness. Just great. Now, there's a true aristocrat, not that warden creep. Now, when your nobleness, where was I? If you're ever on Footfall Station, there's a district there, the Shadow Quarters, it's called, because it's located behind the statue of our holiest emperor. I've known folks who called it something else on account of being behind the statue. Don't repeat their mistakes. I tell you, Reverend Hieronymus wasted no time finding and burning them all. Forgive an old man for getting distracted. So, footfall. Uh, the Shadow Quarters, there's a bar there built to the remains of an old ship. And in that bar, in the back room, a certain Riza does her business. Tell her Grandpa Bachval says hello. You'll be your favorite client in the blink of an eye. There we are. Well, your nobleness. We'll be going now, if you don't mind. Heretical, may go. Uh, dogmatic, I've changed my mind. His name. By his name, you'll not be allowed a lot. No, we're going to go with the iconoclast again. 
shall not leave here to die at the hands of the warden's henchmen. Go, tell my pilot, this is the Lord Captain's order that you be sent to my ship. You'll join my ship's crew. You'll have a personal pardon as a rogue traitor. Uh, thanks. We're most grateful, your nobleness. The old man glances at you somewhat skeptically, but then smiles and leaves. Plus three to my iconoclast rating. Oh, I even got a bow. That was, that was very impressive. Uh, so where are we now? I am at Iconoclast 45. Ooh, I'm up to Tier 2. Adherent. When one reaches the Conviction Branches, reaches 3 Votary, becomes the character's main focus. When that happens, you can't raise the others. These are the three sort of uh, ideologies you can have. I have 15 in Dogmatic, 45 in Iconoclast. When you reach the third tier, you can no longer gain the other tiers. So at some point I'm going to have to start uh, letting Abelard murdering people so I can get a couple of tiers here. No, wait. Uh, yeah, let him murder people out. We can give it to tier two here. And then do some obvious chaotic evil stuff to get myself up to tier two here. And then we can choose which of the tiers we want to continue up through. Let's see. Uh, you're here. Those are the dead prisoners we left behind. There should be some loot over here. There's the loot. Good. Uh, I will use my tech knowledge. That's how it's done. That's exactly how it's done. I don't want to add it to either. Well, I guess I'll just put it all in the cargo. So, clumps of dust, but no trace of weapons or gear. This storage has not been used in a long time. All right, everyone, are we ready to continue? I always keep my options open. I always keep my options open. I am on the prison planet, indeed. Please, no spoilers, but other than that, please continue. Not that there's... How much spoiling can you do? It's Warhammer 40k. Everything's going to go awful. There is going to be no breaking out of singing and dancing and distribution of presents. Rise to the top or get left in the dust. I'll note that the first thing I see on this tier is bodies and blood. So, yep, that's, uh, that's definitely Warhammer 40k. The dead guard did not even have time to draw the weapon. The surprise attack must the attack must have come as a surprise. And here, a corpsman in a uniform decorated with winter scale coat of arms. And he's, of course, that's to the open pit. I don't think we want to go straight to the open pit. I mean, sooner or later, sure. the lock. I always get the job done. I do. Pretty much always get the job done, you know. Into the warden's office we all go. Well, first of all, we have goods, so obviously we're going to take the goods. Uh, saturated cape. When the wearer uses Endure, they immediately remove one of the following effects. Burn in toxin. That one can come over here, and those can go into the car. Alright, that's all of us. Keep your Nothing wits about escapes you. my sight. Nothing escapes her sight. Uh, okay. We have a pause. There must be a fight about to happen, I'm guessing. 
have bad guys in here? No, we have got dead bodies in here. Clumps of dust, but no trace of. Oh, we got, oh, we got goods back here too. Hold on, hold on. Lens doesn't like to miss goods. Ooh, what do we got? Uh, diviner staff. Can't be equipped by this character. No. Gas cloud grenade and medicay. Medicay. Let's see. We are in here. Argenta, that's the main level. I always have a backup plan. I always have a backup plan, guys. There's a door to the main level. Does the wart? Okay, this comes back the other way, the way we came in originally. All right. Oh, I see. Okay, so... Got it. Two separate ways into the same area. All right. I was confused. I was completely thrown by the layout here. Is there money to be made? Back to the main level. Sure looks like there's a way out there. And over here then. Well, this is where we came in, okay. Alright, so we got turned around. Got it. Well, I guess we're heading down into the pit then. Let us not dawdle. I wouldn't want to dawdle. Into the open pit we go. Uh, I am not offended. I am... I am... I am... 63! <clears throat> I got it out. I'm good. I'm good. Let me throw a save in here. I am offended by being 63. I am not offended by being asked how old I am. I'm pretty sure my being 63 is not your fault. Although if it is... The accretions on the outside of the structure indicate some regularly occurring natural phenomena, perhaps, perhaps poison gas emissions. Yeah, let's hope for poison gas emissions. That door can be opened. We are here. Got some loot in there. Just as I planned. Medicaid. Success is the only The evidence suggests the victim was killed by poison gas. This glass-making furnace was used to melt extracted sand into glass. Three years short? Play around your age? Play such games? Yeah, I... I know I'm unusual for... I think I am far more unusual for streaming at my age than playing the games at my age. There were always people who enjoyed these games when I was, you know, younger. And so... 
I'm not that surprised when I run into someone around my age who plays them, but I don't think there's much of many of us streaming. There are a few that are older. There's a 70-odd-year-old grandma who plays WoW and streams it, so there are a few of us. More goods over here. Lots of goods. And another door. Well, we've got Awoken prisoners. You know, the fact that they're Awoken is probably not good news. Maybe I shouldn't be specific, specific like that, but I've just got a feeling. The fact that they're Awoken... I doubt it means that they woke up from a bad dream. And they went, oh, whew, that was so scary. No, it's probably more that they've been awoken to the fact that they now worship, oh, let's go with corn. Not the band and not the food. I always keep my options open. Yep, there we go. The Chosen Ones. Find Warren Casteglia. Warren Casteglia. I told you, Evie, they're hiding so much from us arrogant mentors, holy brothers and sisters. What have they ever given us? Nothing but a pile of fibs and useless admonitions. The Aqueduct? What? The Aqueduct. That's an old movie reference. Warden Castiglia. But Aurora, she is different. She spoke to me like no one ever has before. She revealed the truth to me. And now I can reveal it to you. If you just stop struggling for one minute... What? The man finally realizes he's not alone and turns to you. He's clutching a long, thin, metallic rod with blood dripping off of it. We have guests. From the Von Valencia ship, I would wager. Evie, my dear, you'll have to wait. Don't fade, I beg you. It's important that you feel everything, including your other eye. That sounds... The warden's words are suddenly drowned out by a chorus of voices in your head. The entity that still dwells in the recesses of your mind rejoices in a cacophony of cries. This place, it holds great significance for the entity. In the frantic chanting of the voices, you can almost make out words that speak of an ancient grave, one that was opened for, it contained a priceless treasure, a most coveted prize, that was retrieved by the faithful after a centuries-long search. It's still not sounding like great good news. It's a long time since you had your first computer. I see 64. For me, it was an Apple II Plus. I bought it, I think, in 79. Might have been 80. And I bought it exclusively to play games on. Later on, it was very helpful in my getting my computer science degree. But I didn't buy it for that purpose. I bought it to play games on. So I have been playing computer games for 45 years? Fuck, I'm old. Cassia, such dreadful shades. Cassia recoils and covers her mouth. The colors of this place, they are putrescent to the core, and these people, their colors are oozing with madness and despair, pain and doom. It, it's Warhammer 60, uh, Warhammer 64. Commodore 64, Warhammer 40,000. Things just never get happy. Who's that? So, uh, how do you know who I am? Who's that on the table? Step away from the hostage at once. What madness have you wrought on this prison? Why did you mutilate these people? That pit? There's something special about it. Is there not an item of value that was once buried there? Now tell me, Warden. What was that item and who took it from here? Who is Aurora? And I'm here to quote Riot. That means... By means far from diplomatic. I'm tempted to go straight into the violence this time. How do you know who I am? Lives have many faces, but there's only one truth. And it has been laid bare before me. I knew the enemy of the truth would come here sooner or later. I'm the enemy of the truth. Adira, you know, we had this guy once. He was a quiet one. One day, he walked to the middle deck, bar, threw one back, and pulled out a gun and started shooting people left and right without saying a word. Then he shoved the barrel in his mouth and blew his brains out. Our warden there has exactly the same look in his eyes right now. Step away from the hostage at once. 
Hostage, how rude. Young Winterscale is my guest and dearest friend. He came here himself to visit his old acquaintance and have a heartfelt talk, and I'm merely showing him some appropriate hospitality to commemorate our reunion. Uh, every, a vein lands out a oh, moan. That must be a vein there. So that must be uh, the warden. Cassia, how dare you, contemptible peasant. For every drop of noble blood you spill, you'll pay a hundredfold more. Cassia turns to me for support with an expression of equal parts indignant and frightened. Abelard shakes his head and somberly, that poor fool. I knew nothing good would come of the na his naive attempt at negotiating with heretics. However, Evain appears to still be alive. If we make haste, we might yet save him. Having a sign of how this winter scale in your debt would certainly prove beneficial. What madness have you wrought in this prison? Do you truly want to know? He becomes more animated and runs a hand through his matted hair. You know it has been some time since he last trimmed his nails. This was my garden, where I tried to grow the seedlings for a beautiful future. That was before I realized there's no future. Not in the sense ordinary people understand. We're at too attached to this life, to the limitations of our weak bodies, to the short-sightedness of our eyes that can scarcely see. It's also insignificant. The true future lies beyond real space, and the only way to reach it is through a cleansing sacrifice. Do you understand? Who's Aurora? Oh, so you managed to barge in here and interfere with the prophetess' designs without even knowing who she is. It's too late now. You'll never attain sight. All you can do is accept your fate. I do not like it when people take the prophetess's Aurora's name in vain. I desire your death, enemy of truth. He raises his hand, and the maimed people start thrashing about in their death throes. The time is pat for words has passed. Optimates, give your power to this harbinger of Aurora. Let our foes see the truth, or become a wash in blood. Everything's going to be fine, okay? We're going to talk this out. I'm feeling confident. I'll make an example out of you! Or maybe not. Let the blood flow! Alright, what do we got? Uh, Awoken Prisoners, Warden Castiglia. Well, Argenta, I, we, get to, um, we get to prepare this time, so that's a plus. Let's see. Uh, let's move Argenta there. Argenta there. Oh, uh, we can't move her that far, okay. Let's see. Where can I move Argenta to? I see. Uh, let's move Argenta there. Now, Cassia, we're going to want her to take, give everyone a, oh, well, let's move Abelard to get him out of the way. Abelard can go... Let's see. That should be good for Abelard. Cassia is going to give a, a number of people the old look straight in the eye. Let's move Adira over here where she can bzzz everybody extra. And that just leaves me in cover with a gun. I'm not sure I have any shots from there. How about there? We have half cover at least, I think. We'll start the battle. Argenta. No. As the Emperor commands, I act. Strike is a prayer. Let's see. Next up is Idira. All right, it doesn't show that it's going to hit Argenta, so I don't think it is. I think it's going to hit them, and them, and 
the wart. Will do. What an unfortunate turn of fate. Oh, the big pink purple glow, or pinkle as I like to call it. Warden got a purple glowy. That's a bit troubling. Wait, what happened? Where's Adira? I get turned around. The warden got teleported. Convenient for him. Uh, we've got a prisoner there. Okay, uh, Adira has done her bit. Let's see. Analyze enemies. Expose weakness. Let's see if she can expose weakness on the That is not my destiny. Too far away. Serve the ruinous power! Stop mocking me. My turn. I buff myself. I aim at the warden. Who, if not me? I hit him but didn't finish him? Da Fook? Abelard. Indeed. Ah! High momentum. Race for impact. Don't think it's actually going to do anything particularly helpful, but, you know, sometimes you just got to do something. I am your doom! No! These rupee flesh I bring ruin! Choking me! Cassia. My god, look, guys. It's an unholy lens. So there's two of them on your screen. One of them in the game, and one of them in the corner. Here. Well, uh, she can move into half cover. Step aside. The navigator is coming. I'm not sure who the navigator is, but it doesn't sound great. That should get everybody. Give it to him, Cassia. I guess didn't quite have range to hit him. Warden Castiglius on one, which seems unlikely. Chaos me. guides me! Argenta. She can move. God Emperor, move through me! Be the fire in my heart! Let's let her. Doubt is for the weak. Him. Nice shot, Argenta. Idira. I doubt she's got range. Range on that is 10 cells. She moved to. She can move to there. It should be within range of him. All right, you dare move They there. who descend the future on the battlefield. But of course. Death to the weak. He cleanses the body. Okay, once again, I've got my big gun. Let's 
Uh, it's as good as the best defense is a good offense. Uh, he's still standing. What the hell is going on? Maybe the lens has to be destroyed first. Okay, we'll keep that. Going. Abelard. Run to there. Tried and tested tactics are the best ones. Any hit down holy lens? I will do my duty. That appears like it just like shut about there. That was about it. Less than entirely impressive. All right. Uh, Cassia. Emperor, give me strength. Let's hope so. Do not dare ask me. Captain. The unholy lens has got to take a lot of damage. I'm assuming that's why he's not dying. He's under the effect of the unholy lens. All right, Argenta. Any decent chance, only 36% chance on him. I'll do it. Alright, more damage to the lens. The not me lens, the lens lens. Hmm. Okay. Adira. I know what is to come. Not this Grayer's job. Right. Can she hit? It says creature, so maybe not. No. Uh, how about him? Anything else? Give him two additional exploits. We'll do. Yeah, let's see if I can shoot the damn. On it. All right, it's down to ten hit points left. Abelard. Follow my lead. I don't think he, well, maybe he can take it. Nope. Cassia. Get all the way up there. Accustomed to being ordered around. He took 15, but he's not dying, presumably because of the lambs, and the lambs is still showing 10. Hold on! Why did I not foresee this? My money's on you're not very smart. Alright, we'll move. Rejoice in battle! Yeah, we're gonna rejoice in battle because of course we are. Faith without deeds is worthless. I don't have the movement points for that. Crap. That's not great. As the Emperor commands, I act. I'll do it. Wait, what's with the tentacles? I saw tentacles all of a sudden. No, maybe it's a banner or something. Okay. I am his will made manifest. 
I refuse. Can't abuse when there's a Malay armed character, Jason. Okay. Back up one. Dodge the attack. As the Emperor commands. And how about a one last shot? Doubt is for the weak. For Casteglia. Oh, no, he's back at one. Oh, we've got another one. As the Emperor commands, I act. Hey, why is he not dead yet? Is it because there's another another lens, maybe? But this lens didn't shine any light on him. I'll do it. Is there anything else I'm missing? The warden. Castigating enemies become the target to the navigator. No, oh, that's that. Exploit, right? Disturbed. He's not showing any special buff or debuff that I can see. Why is, why is he still alive? Oh, I've got another unholy lens back here as well. Okay. Dear, I want to back away. There is movement in the Empyrean. And that does 7 to 16. This does, I think, more. Uh, so we're going to hit that. <laughs> no can do. That is not my destiny. She can't target those with that ability, it seems like. So I'm going to guess we have to destroy all three of the lenses before anything can affect him. Not the most welcome of options. What's up is me. Should be able to shoot this one because I'm like right next to it. I won't compromise my principles. Evidently, my principles had nothing to do with it, to be frank. All right, that one's almost gone. Abelard. All right, we're gonna have. Hard head for this one. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Yes, I'm sure you have. Can he shoot that thing? I'd rather not. He'd rather not. It's beneath him, don't you know? Cassia, uh, would you be a, a, a sweetheart and um, blow up that thing for us? Isn't this a job for the serfs? It would be a job for the serfs. They're busy being, you know, dead. Here we go! Missed me, missed me. That, that's all I've got. Just that you missed me. Got a med kit. Uh, she's taken some wounds. How about she applies the med Administration kit? is a holy task. And then moves. The enemies of the Emperor will be undone. So that, sure. That's the one that needs a uh, 
a being to target. So a little bit of damage from that. High momentum. Back to me. We've Let's got make some opportunities. I'll make it happen. It's on one. Abelard, you wanna run up here? My place is at the fall. And shotgun it. So theoretically, I don't think she can reach him. Oh, uh, Avalon's done. Cassia. Battlefields there, are always drowned in Scarlet. Let's get to it. And now hopefully we can finish him off. Guided by faith. He'll get another attack of opportunity as I step away. Please. Faith without deep can there escape we go. the Emperor's judgment. The Chosen Ones find a vain winter scale. I don't believe we've been properly introduced. Blood is bubbling on the young man's lips and his voice is barely audible. But even now it remains melodious and quite courteous. A vain winter scale. Afkaronis, greatly pleased to make your acquaintance. Cassia, on the rare days that Lord Winterscale visited Urak V, the station was awash in a mist of warm hues. We were forbidden from meeting each other, but I was delighted to see such rare colors in my home. Now, however, his colors are darkening, twisting from pain and bitterness. We must help, Lord Captain. We must save the clarity of his soul. For he whose presence makes the world a little brighter deserves no less. She's a simple soul. Not necessarily the brightest, but oh, she's a simple soul. Lady Cassia, I presume, the sacred child of House Orcelio. How disgraceful it is. On the day we finally meet, I, I find myself not at my best. There is no disgrace in your predicament, Lord Winterscale. The Lord Captain and I met under similarly dreadful and tragic circumstances. I need to AFK for a second, as my beer is sadly almost empty. So uh, the warden had cheating on his side. Magical lenses. I'm the only magical lens in this stream. We're back. Me and my beer. There we go. What have they done to you? You can preserve your strength. You're wounded and need help. I must take my leave. No, no. I must take my leave. No, no. Finish him off. Oh, finish him off. That seems... I have to say, in just a couple of days playing this game, so what is it? This is six or eight hours, something like that. The temptation to just behave like a total monster is significant. They give me options to just do some of the most outrageous stuff. Conserve your strength. You are wounded and need help. Wounded? I would have phrased it altogether differently. Tortured and maimed, perhaps. Have you ever had your eyes burned out? This was my first time. I cannot say I recommend the procedure. It... He's either trying to make light of the situation or growing delirious from the pain. What have they done to you? And the warden, my friend, tried to convince... I tried to convince him to stop the riot. Diplomacy failed? Speaking is a struggle, but he continues stubbornly. Father hates diplomacy, which is why I, I had to try. I'm 
I must take my leave. I will see to it that assistance is provided to you and that you are escorted from here. That seems a little bit cold. My options are, I gotta leave, I gotta leave, or I'm gonna kill you. He nods, giving into oblivion. <coughs> Plus three profit factor gained. All right, well, we have some profit. The mutilated man does not stir, bound in shackles. The plaque near his head reads, Most Holy Prophet and Optimate Ati Shan. Your skin crawls as you approach this place. However, there does not appear to be anything of note, other than making my skin crawl, which is no shortage of that around. Your eye is drawn to shards of enormous lens. Hi there! Man, I'm not as enormous as I used to be. I've lost a lot of weight. To be fair. The shards of an enormous lens scattered around the broken device. At first, you're uncertain as to what troubles you, but suddenly the realization hits you. The glass shimmers in a unique way, just the same way as the shards of the unknown broken object you found near Theodora von Valencius's desk. Abelard, what's the matter, Captain? Why are you so interested in... By the Imperium Saints, it cannot be! Adira bites her lip. I see it too. Whatever that thing in her study was, was made from the same material as this junk. What? What? He takes a moment to collect himself. It's a mistake. Slander meant to blemish the good name of a person who is now dead and cannot even defend herself. First those minions of the Arch Enemy murdered Lord Captain Theodora, and now... This cannot be tolerated. It will not be tolerated. Come on now, Abelard. Remember what she was like. Brazen, assertive. It was like her entire life was a race against fate, until fate caught up with her in the end. She would have gone headfirst into a black hole if she thought it would put her even one step ahead of everyone else in the expanse. If we could just find out what she was keeping in her desk, and why she went to get it during the attack. Sister Argento's beautiful face is full of grief. How bitter it is to know that you were born from bad blood, but do not let this knowledge drag you into darkness. Argenta, reception test succeeded. The sister's words ring with a genuine, sincere hope that you'll be blessed with a worthier fate. She does not appear to be shocked by the news of Theodora's possible heresy. Hey, heresy. It's maybe not as bad as everyone says, unless you want to end up um, with parts of you spread across several pits filled with body parts. Life must be so easy for you sanctimonious preachers. A dubious trinket and you no longer see a person. You see bad blood. An annoying hindrance. Argenta recoils, but the next moment her dark eyes ignite with fury. How dare you admonish me! We are speaking of abetting the arch enemy. A person who has tainted themselves thus can never rec justify their actions. Sure, why go through all the trouble of trying to make sense of anything when you can just label them a heretic and call it a day? Except, dear friend, I seem to remember that you didn't mind Theodora so much while you were aboard her ship. You didn't leave her side for even a moment. She rescued you, aided you, and your adoration wilted the moment you heard an accusation sullying her memory. You weren't surprised or upset. You just gave up on her and moved on. Oh, I'm not going to alienate anyone by butting into this conversation. Argenta is right, the danger of heresy cannot be overstated. Adira is right. Too soon to cast accusations of heresy. Sister Argenta, you will cease these insinuations at once. Which you are walking a fine line between outright heresy and the barrel of a bolter. Shut your mouth before I shut it for you. Adira is right, it is too soon to cast accusations of heresy. Uh, but, you know, the tiniest little more indication, I'm sure. Argenta Lens, don't be naive. Theodora kept an unsanctioned witch by her side like a pet. Do you really believe that she would think twice about crossing the line in other ways? I walk away from the device. What do we got? What do we got? That's the entry. That's where we came in. Over there, right? We've got lots of dead bodies. No surprise there. <laughs> yeah, lots of dead bodies. Body, 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 warden body. 
guard, guard. Loot! Uh, well, let's check the warden body. A noble sword, okay. Precise laser pistol. Ritobi pattern lays gun. Flak chest plate. Improved armored body glove. Oh, I like the sound of that. That may have to go onto my personal body. Um, that one can go there. That one can go there. Melee sword. That. Uh, yeah. That's all those. Let's see where I was up here. More spare goods. Hey, look, I'm a businessman, okay? Corpse starch rations. I'm completely certain I don't want to know what corpse starch is and how you make it into food. Uh, the only thing I can think of is uh, uh, Soylent Green. Yep, not interested in the things he's got. Keep your wits about you. I agree. Keep your wits about you. Uh, this is... The crippled man's appearance is ghastly, yet it's evident he was cared for after his mutilation. It's always nice when they care for you after your mutilation. Oh, we've got goods. Hold on. Uh, it says goods. Goods. I, I don't see any goods. I mean, all he's got is some crappy stub revolver. But all we've got is the prisoner stuff. That says loot. Yeah, I think we've got everything out of here that we can get. I mean, I'm just double-checking by going around looking to see if anything gets highlighted or highlit. Doesn't look like it. Well, I think we've, uh, I think we've cleared up everything about the prison. And we got everybody. Evane Winterscale. He's kneeling on the floor until your next meeting, Lord Von Valencius, I require some time alone with my thoughts. Well, yes, I do imagine that's probably the case. Always keep your eye on the price. Sound thinking, me, to the main level. I'll tell the pilot outside. have a backup plan. Ah, but do I have a backup plan to my backup plan? We got goods. Hey, I'm practical, okay? That's all. I'm just practical. Is there money to be made? is the main level on the other side of the broken um, walkway here. Yeah. So we come up here and we should be able to talk to the pilot. They're gone. Pilot's gone. Okay, that was like all dusty and stuff, right? Yeah, they get dust everywhere. Oh, oh there's the pilot rack hell. Your lordship, the rebellion's been crushed. I have news of your lord. 
Lord Winterscale alive? Is he is he alright? He's alive, but badly wounded. Help my people get him to my ship. It will be done immediately. Thank you for letting me know, your lordship. Sure. Uh, may excuse yourself. Okay. Theoretically now... Everyone with me? Why is everyone not with me? Everyone with me? There you go. Back to the void ship. Everyone with me? Everyone with me? Return to the void ship. And not let me return to the void ship. Why no letting me return to the void ship? To me, your lordship. Why can I not go to the void ship? Hello? Um, not happy with this result. Oh, not everyone's with me. Why Why did the others not come with me? <sighs> That's one of the things I am very not happy with, the way this game deals with that kind of movement stuff. If not letting me into the barracks now, either. Oh, that's awesome. When the faithful are idle, heresy... You are in the presence of House Orcelio. No, I'm not. Where the hell are you? What... What? The very much fuck is going on? I can't go into the barracks. Join me in prayer. All right, that's Argenta. Should I divine our name? I'm restless. Argenta, how about... How may I serve the dynasty? Adira. I'm at your service. Abelard. I have a nose for profit. What in the fuck, guys? Come on, seriously? I don't even know how the hell I'm supposed to fucking deal with this. It won't let me go into the space with the other characters I don't. How to correctly send a bug report. Yeah, I'm really close to that. The fuck? Oh my god. Come on, guys. You can't have this kind of bug in your game. You can't have a player not do anything broken and break everything. What the fuck am I supposed to do now? The prison planetoid 531, hopefully. It's after the battle, but my group group is still grouped up. Really, you cannot have that kind of bug. You've got to have some kind of emergency summon all the characters kind of action going on. I always keep my options open. Uh, what? Are we all downstairs? Is that everybody? Yes, but I can't, I can't get to them all. I can't zoom to them all. What the?
Is this everybody? I always have a backup plan. Looks like it. Now I'm going to have to check it every freaking instance to make sure I've got all five characters selected and that they're all working, walking together. Really, guys? Is there money to be made? Game devs, if you've got a scripting language in your game, it's got to be bulletproof. You've got to have ways for the players to unwind stuff or advance the story something. You can't leave them having to hope that they've got a, 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 a save game in the right place. Keep your wits about you. And even in this case, the save game wouldn't have helped me if I hadn't tried to zoom in down into the area where I seemed to be excluded from getting to. That's all five of them. No, 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 I want all five. Everybody has to be with me. Okay, everybody's with me. Is everyone with the group? Does everyone remember where we parked? Your lordship, the rebellion's been crushed. I have news of your lord, blah, blah, blah. He's safe and in one piece. I shall receive him as a guest in my ship. He's alive but badly wounded. Help my people get him to the ship. I'm not nuts about us not having another conversational option other than I have no more questions, you may excuse yourself. But we'll see if this works. That's everybody. Yay, excited to work this time. Wait, how much was the damage with that thing? Okay, yeah, all right. Black chest blade, black chest blade. All right. My biggest bugaboo, really, in MMOs, but it holds for RPGs as well, is your scripting language has got to be bulletproof. You can't let the player play something for 45 minutes and then fuck up and not have checkpointed not allow a, a not give him a button to say okay it's broken just finish you cannot make them replay content they have successfully completed because your shit's broken this has been my tech talk permission to report lord captain over the past few days i received several messages from different decks complaining about anomalous behaviors in the ship's cogitators and servitors Machine spirits are restless and rebellious, and no tech litany or ritual of pacification can rid them of this obstinacy. The tech priests can deal with the vessel's systems, but the servitors, they make errors in their tasks, disobey orders, change the assigned rituals, or sometimes downright freeze as if in a trance. Abelard, a click comes through the Fox Channel, followed by a weary sigh. Lord Captain, the occurrences such as these are caused by errors in cogitator calculations, or have some other sensible explanation, I beseech you not to take after those who whisper about the ship being cursed or possessed. Adira joins the channel and chimes in playfully. Oh, don't start, old man. All those peculiar happenings have long since turned into local legends. A door slams shut. A lumen starts flickering. Folk have grown used to all that. So our resident ghost has decided to up the ante. I'm telling you, things are only going to get worse from here. Voxmaster Vigdis. The Technomats inspected the servitors and concluded they posed no danger. According to the servants of the Omnissaya, such behavior is caused either by the echoes of minds not completely eliminated or by manifestations of the machine, sp machine spirit's will. Nevertheless, the faulty servitors make the crew's tasks considerably more difficult, and High Factotum Janris Danrock would like to discuss how he should deal with the defective property. He is awaiting your audience on the bridge. Okay, defective servitors, the unusual behavior of the servitors will be discussed with high factotum. Blah 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 blah. Alright, so uh, let's see. We've scanned Rikad Majoris. We scanned Urak 5 and also uh, took care of getting Cassia there. 
We've been to the Thunder Fang once. Let's see. Uh, new blood. Crew losses suffered during can be remedied on Rykad, but Norris, yeah. Defective servitors. Okay, uh, how do I take care of addressing that in new quests? The unusual behaviors should be discussed with the High Factotum, who is responsible. Rumors. Warden of the Expanse Lord, Inquisitor, Calcazar. Yeah, we're still looking for him. We don't have any contracts. Right? Looking for trouble? No. Uh, the defective servitors. How do we deal with the defective? We have full whole integrity with that. Back to back to the bridge. Oh, I didn't even know about that. Yeah, they never showed me that before. Uh, quick look at the void ship management. Doesn't look like. Ooh, ooh. These look like they've had levels up. We can ram and upgrade the hull. I guess we have a choice maybe of those two. Current upgrade levels. Scrap required for the next upgrade is 50. Oh, we can upgrade. They're telling us we have upgrades for these. We can upgrade the ram or the uh, hull. We're going to upgrade the hull. Oh, we've got lots of scrap. Uh, I'm going to bop the hull integrity one more. We'll hold on to the rest of the scrap. But, you know, two upgrades, that seems pretty solid to me. The ram, I don't immediately see myself ramming anything. Corpus Valencius. That's the quests. That's me. Hi there. Wait. Oh, no, that's not me. That, well, that is me. Okay, I only have that much Iconoclast. Who's... All right, he's got two in Iconoclast and one in Dogmatic. She's got two in Heretical. That makes sense. She's going to be Dogmatic as hell. Yeah, she's already locked into Dogmatic. And she's pretty Dogmatic, too. This is all of our stuff. I did want to look at this. So this armor is improved armor body glove. Additional armor, still light. Still have a 35% chance to dodge, and the armor reduces incoming damage by 20%. Okay, well, I have uh, new clothes I'm going to be wearing. Actually, you can't really see that I'm wearing new clothes. It's more like new long underwear. So I have new skivvies. Sort of. Back to the bridge, where I will talk with the, uh, was it the Factotum? I can't remember. I wonder why I can't remember, he said, taking a nice big swig of his alcoholic beverage. <sighs> Testing void shields confirm receipt of instructions. Do you copy? That's Abelard, me, bridge officer, uh, and Pegasus. There, Vigdis. Hey, Vigdis, what do you got for me? A thin, pale woman stands out among the rest of the crew. There's a thick bundle of cables coming out of the back of her skull and disappearing under her ceremonial garment. You see the great of a Hyatt-Lee Quemming. Hyatt Quemming. Quemming sounds dirty, but uh, actually that was just me spoonerizing the words quietly humming. Quietly quumming. Quietly humming Vox where her mouth should be. The woman sees you and bows her head a respectful greeting. How may I serve you, Lord Captain? Uh, remind me who you are. What are the duties? Why do you look so strange? Fellowship 40, connect me to the vessel's main channel. I wish to booster the morale. Boost? Bolster? Or booster the morale of my crew. Fellowship test succeeded. Voxmaster nods obediently and presses several switches in the device she is holding. It is done, Lord Captain. Gained 44 XP. All right, that's, uh... What are the Vox Master's duties? I am the ears and voice of the Void Ship. I supervise several dozen officers and three times that number of support personnel. We receive sand encrypt decode incoming outgoing messages through ship internal and external channels. We also ensure... Pardon me, yawn. <sighs> Meme communication and the optimal efficiency of the crew's Vox casters. Have the Vox spirits brought 
Are they friendly spirits? That's a really, really old guy reference. For those of you interested in looking it up, I suggest Googling, are they friendly spirits? And the word bullwinkle. Have the Vox Spirits brought you anything interesting lately? Forgive me, Captain. I have no information that would be of interest to you at this moment. That will be all for now. I live to serve, Captain. I'm sure you do. So, uh, who is it? We were supposed to talk to somebody. Defective servitors. High factotum. Yeah, it was the factotum. Jammer's Danlock. All right, where's Jammer's Danlock? Where is he? He does not appear to be anywhere around. Gotta, I guess, check everywhere to see if we can find him. Uh, the helmsman, Cassia Uve, her servant, who isn't a little bit crazy. Deep bridge, servitor, servitor. I do not see our factotum anywhere. There is our factotum. Looks like our factotum is nowhere around that's in a convenient location. Uh huh. She's there. We got that. Well, no, he should be there somewhere. He should be over here somewhere then. See, I'm there, so he should be there. Is he downstairs? Hey, did you hear? They saw it again. It was on the middle decks this time. Now, there he is. I factotum generous Danrock, the corpulent man. Hey, that's not nice. I say that as a corpulent, corpulent man. Lavish clothes. Yeah, a tattered, shitty-looking old hoodie. Bows before you, not without difficulty. <clears throat> a servo skull <coughs> wears over his shoulder, while the fingers of his augmented right hand drum against the sheaf of papers he's holding. He regards you with attentive interest through the lens ha -ha, of his magnifying implant. Let's see. That would be a magnifying lens unless I very much miss my doubt. Uh, greetings, your lordship. Janrus Danrock, at your service. Figdus informed me about a problem with the servitors. What happened? You see, your lordship, the ship's servitors have been malfunctioning of late. They violate protocols, interrupt their tasks, observe crew members for long periods of time, and move erratically with no meaning or purpose. He nervously pulls on his luxurious frock coat, as if it were uncomfortably tight. Hey, I don't got no respect. That's an old reference. Had it been a routine technical fault, I would have decided the fate of these servitors myself, but it, I deemed it necessary to notify you. I do not wish to hide such irregularities from the Lord Captain. If you wish to observe the servitor's unusual behavior before you decide their fate, this can be arranged. The majority of the defective units have been delivered to one of the storage compartments pending your decision. I wish to take a look at these servitors before deciding their fate. I shall take a look at the servitors not right away. No, let's do it right now. Why put off for tomorrow what you can do today? Sector data unavailable. Region data unavailable. Location, Mon Valencia's flagship lower decks material. Report of a tech phenomenon that was observed during the Lord Captain's visit to Bay AKN 108 on the words of High Factotum General Stanlock. When his lordship arrived at the scene, he found the servitors in the same position they assumed. After they had been corralled into the bay, all standing in a long spiraling line and facing the center of their strange formation. The moment his lordship crossed the thre threshold of the bay gate, their bodies jerked into motion, and all as one, as if obeying their command, the servitors turned to face the Lord Captain. The technomats, as tasked with overseeing the defective units, even reached for their weapons. But then the servitors went just as abruptly, staring at his lordship, went still just as abruptly, staring at his lordship with vacant eyes. 
All present held their breath, breath disturbed by the sight. We waited for the Lord Captain to speak. His Lordship, Lens von Valencius. I, I like how they're doing this here, where basically they're laying out what happened next as you choose. Took several steps toward the servitors, demanded a report on the defective units from status in the tech mats, ordered one of the servitors to be disassembled, turned to me to announce his decision on the night yet. Demanded a report on the defective unit's status from the Technomats. The Technomats' long-winded and detailed report could have been summarized in a single key point. Despite the servitors' abnormal behavior, they were still quite capable of carrying out tasks, and therefore the circumstances did not call for their termination. Still, all present held their breath, disturbed by the sight. We waited for the Lord Captain to speak. His Lordship, Lens von Valencius, took several steps towards the servitors. Immediately, the servitors, each and every one of them, stepped towards the Lord Captain in perfect unison. They mimicked his movements with frightening position, precision. The rogue trader halted in place and, after a moment's thought, waved his hand, and the servitors, just as synchronously, repeated that gesture as well. When the Lord Captain turned to quizzically, turned quizzically to the Technomats, so did the servitors, as if mocking him. Whatever the Lord Captain did, be it an incline of the head, a wave of the hand, a flip of the finger, or a step to the side. The defective units repeated it without a moment's delay or hesitation, like grotesque marionettes controlled by an unseen puppeteer. We observed this mime unfold in distressed bafflement for nearly a minute until the servitors finally came to a stop. Not sensing any threat from them, the rogue trader approached with confidence. The Lord Captain examined the servitors. As High Fact them, it was I who had prompted that entire inspection. Thus, it was my duty to follow the Lord Captain. As we stepped closer, we noticed a fascinating irregularity. The servitors' pupils, normally still, were shaking wildly. Their bulging veins were pulsating under their copper collars inscribed with their past offenses. It was as if those mindless half-machines were locked in a perpetual state of extreme tension. A visibly shaken technomat behind us proposed that the human souls had awakened within the servitor's body after a long slumber deep within their lobotomized brains. Formerly bereft of intelligence, they had attained awareness, feeling, and understanding. After a pause, the technomat added that the servitors used to function properly and that no one had been able to explain the change in their behavior. His gaze, still trained on the motionless but animate half-machines and half-people, Lord Captain. By the way, uh, they have this sort of look on their face. Steal yourself. This is going to be a little unpleasant to see. Here's the look. There you go. Stepped away from the servers. Suddenly drew an iridescent blade, one I had seen before, and as if following some unheard command, plunged it into the nearest server. I'm not ready to be that heretical just yet. Stepped away from the servers. All present held their breath, disturbed by the sight, waited. Suddenly he drew ordered that one of the servitors be disassembled. Wow, now things are getting weird. I don't have a whole lot of choices drew an iridescent blade, one I had seen before. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go he heretical once, and we'll see where this uh, leads us. The moment the blade sliced the pale flesh, a wild howl washed over the cargo bay. We heard the screeching and crackling of servo motors as if having regained the ability to feel pain. The wounded servitor struggled to open its sewn mouth, but all it could muster was a stifled moan of horror. The Lord Captain's victim fell to the metal deck, and all the other servitors came crashing down with it. We all felt the grip of an otherworldly, bone-chilling cold. As I met the Technomat's fearful gazes, I realized that none of those present had any explanation for what had just happened. The Engineer Prime proceeded to the center of the spiral of servitor bodies, stood over there grimly, studying, studying their lifeless faces, and spoke thus. This tech phenomenon warranted comprehensive study. Further investigation has been rendered impossible. Perhaps it was a trick of my imagination, but I thought I caught a semblance of sorrow in his gaze in that moment. The Lord Captain, seemingly not attached any importance to the situation, sheathed the blade and left the cargo bay without a word. I wonder how many sort of little story asides they put into this. It always seemed to me like that's a fun thing you can do. Um, I recently ran a series of... Uh, tabletop role-playing games uh, for friends, and one of the things I have done in the past that I sort of uh, uh, duplicated here 
is in the past when I was running D&D games for a lot of friends, I had a stack of 3x5 index cards about yay thick. Uh, and I had, would just in my idle time while I'm reading or watching TV or anything, I, if I had a, a weird idea pop up or an interesting idea, I would write it down on those cards. And I would randomly uh, either grab one myself or uh, offer a, a handful of them and tell someone to pick one. And then I would just impromptu use that idea uh, as a source of something to do in game. And so little vignettes like that, I think, are a very cool mechanic. And it's one that you can add countless numbers over if you've got a staff, say, creating a game like this. Just, yeah, once a week we want you guys to come up with something goofy that we can add. Uh, they're not all going to make the game, but uh, some of them will. And that would be the example of something someone just had an idea on a lark and they add in and maybe it has some future repercussions or maybe it doesn't. I do want to see though, okay so I'm 3 out of 15, I'm not dogmatic at all but I am still iconic iconoclast. That should be it for that one, right? So, uh, wait, wait. Okay, then the engine seer we need. We got the navigator, right? Next is land on Rykad Minoris. And we should be able to get crews, additional crew, and hopefully find the engine seer. But first, we can go to Thunderfang and see if anything has changed there. Now, these are things I think we can buy from them. Or we can do the rep bit. We can give them some ranged weaponry. That'll give us 100. Some melee weaponry. 200. Ship components. We're up to 400. We're 1150. Miscellaneous. 450. That'd give us 1200. That'll give us 1500. That'll get us 750. 750 get us to 1500. And we'll be the first tier of rep with the Fellowship of the Void. And now the Tier 1 stuff is available. Ah, and our current profit factor is 13. Representation of the relative value of my warrant of trade. I assume that's a currency, and so I could trade it for up to 13 units of stuff for something like that. The world... War World Origin Fencing Body Glove. 10% extra dodge against melee and 10% parry. I see. Well, I hesitate to buy anything too soon. But we are now up to Tier 1 with our first reputation. Dun, ba, ba, dun. Well, let's head for Rykad Minoris then. Yep, three quests there. What's the... Points of, points of interest detected. Rykad Philia, the prison planetoid. Yep. We'd already scanned that, right? Yeah. Okay. Is that actually something, or is that just... No, okay, that is. Rykad Minoris, the capital. The main planet. I'm in my, uh, at, I assume this is the same desk that Theodora 
was murdered at? I'm not sure how I feel about that. I think I would want a new desk. As the ship makes its way through the star system, a strange fatigue falls over you. Your eyelids grow heavy, and the quill you've been using to draw up another order falls from your hand. There's one thing I'm not nuts about, and it's not an issue with the game. At the very beginning, you have sort of this encounter with a presumably a, a spirit of chaos and it kind of takes up residence inside your head and every time it pops up in this story it reminds me of uh, the critter in the mini uh, mind flare in your head in uh, Baldur's Gate 3 and so every time it comes up it's a little bit of a slightly discordant note because the first instinct is oh it's a rip off of BG3 but no no they're under development at the same time but it just doesn't, it, it feels a little hollow given that having been an element in BG3, a much, much better known recent RPG. Uh, you raise your head with a start. Someone else is here in your study. You stand up and stare at dozens upon dozens of corpses surrounding you. Among their number, you recognize the disfigured and bloodied faces of those who died on the ship's bridge. And those you met in your previous life. How's this possible? Where are the enforcers posted to stand guard? Well, the enforcers posted to stand guard probably can't stop hallucinations or ghosts. It matters not. You're alone against a horde of heretics risen from the darkness to take your life. As if its own accord, the shard lying on the edge of the desk, the sole remnant of Kunrad Voitvir's weapon, slips into your hand. The metal is searing cold. The dead sway from side to side, closing in around you in a nightmarishly slow advance. I see, kneel before the rogue trader, your lives belong to me. Seems like a pure bluster. Step back or stop, I did not wish for any of you to die. Well, I just said that they were heretics. Step back. Step back or else. They draw closer and closer, and your fingers involuntarily tighten around the shard. Its sharp edge cutting into your palm. Ow, ow, ow! An unbearably bright light floods everything around and you find yourself surrounded by groveling minions, their bodies shivering in your mere presence. Your hands no longer hold a pitiful shard, but a majestic and intricate weapon. A skillfully crafted sword with strange, unnerving properties. A curved design and an unusual hilt adorned with an image of a closed eye. The eye opens wide, revealing a gaze so ancient and dark that it steals your breath away. You have felt this gaze before, there on the bridge, and the voice that appears in your mind only confirms your guess. The tapestry is woven. The path is chosen. Accept your fate, champion. I am the sword's master, not its servant. Remember that. You feel the sword's immense weight pulling you down. You resist its will for a moment longer before collapsing to the ground to the sound of odious laughter. The strain is such that you fear your back could break at any moment. Bog, the first dawn, is hereby woven into the tapestry of your fate. Seek the second dawn in the hands of she who rises above its future dominion. The former aspirant fell, and thus the new one will become the chosen of the Weaver of Destinies. Make mortals serve you as their god and become the vessel of the edge. I'm going to be a god. We're going to be naughty gods. Movie reference. You awaken from the vision, kneeling next to your desk, clothes drenched in sweat with a sour taste on your tongue. Yeah, it's an IPA. They're pretty hoppy, so that's the sour taste. Your head is ringing, and you struggle to recall these faces and the image of the sword in your hands. Only the deep cut on your palm and the bloodied shard laying on the floor remind you of what just transpired. I'm going to pick up the shard. You reach your shaking hand out to the shard, now slippery with your blood. You wipe its metallic surface and stash your treasure under your clothes, next to your heart and soul, forever seared by the power of the warp. Little bit of heresy never hurt anybody. Ever. 
right? I'm up to 6 out of 15 heretical. I'm not going dogmatic. I'll go iconoclast. I might go a little heretical. The light glinting off the polished skull of some unknown Xenos makes it seem like the bony face is mocking you. Mocking me? You dare! Let's see, we've got... Uh, the ticking of the clock is too quiet for its bulky size. Von Valencius Ancestry Records. Shrine of Remembrance. This must be um, the Kickstarters or early access purchasers or something like that. We got a magnorium. Just just checking to see if we've got a, you know, a magnifying lens. I don't think so. I don't think I did. Nope, nothing found there. Okay. The vault. Ah, okay. Well, that's the cargo and the personal stuff and the vault. Oh, okay. What I can certainly do for now. Is move stuff that I know came from. Uh, the first planetoid I went to. The, the Nobilis one. And get that out of my inventory. Those three. There was other stuff I could do there, and I don't know if I will ever go back, or if I was supposed to do it, or what the whole deal was. And I'll probably never know. Oh, that's where I knew Ati Shan from. Oh. He wanted to join the uh, the select of the warden. I guess that didn't really work out the way he had hoped. Bad luck for him. All right. Where, that's the, the vault. No, no, no. All right, so... The personal cogitator, I guess I can't click on, that's just that. Doing a quick look around in my quarters. Don't suppose there's actually anything interactive. Oh, we've got something. Beyond the stained glass, the distant stars glimmer in the darkness of endless space, filling you with an odd sense of dread. Dread? Goods. To inventory. Cracked data slate. The final transactions with the chartist are complete. The fiery reckoning is now fully equipped. Blah, blah, blah. The object has been loaded aboard with the containment intact and placed in the four bay to ensure maximum contact with the target. Coordinates sent and received by the bridge. Let me add that to the inventory and get the info. Target's estimated time of arrival in the system. The fiery reckoning is crewed by a server to blow. Chances of ship returning are minimal. That's a little concerning sounding, gotta say. That wasn't me who put it there, so I'm assuming that belonged to the prior lady in charge. Oh, that's a nice bathtub. Gotta say classy bathtub. So it appears that Theodora had a thing for a nice bath, and I can't blame her for that. That, that seems pretty right on. Let's see, over here. Bizarre fragment hung on a trophy board to the light smooth surface of the object is dotted with a dark spot and crumbling holes. Liturgies of the Faithful 
to his word and name. The text below the solemn heading looks noticeably faded. It appears the prayer book has been kept open on this page for a very long time. This fine sculpture made from a strange metal seems to absorb any rays of light that fall upon it. And yet I can see reflections off of it. Therefore, it's not absorbing all the light now, is it? Liars. The glinting of displayed weapons is mesmerizing. You've never seen many of these articles before. The positions of the pieces in the board suggest this game of regicide was interrupted before the winner was determined. I, I like that. Chess isn't chess anymore. It's regicide. And I didn't actually notice. We would go into here and see if there was anything clickable in here. There is. This water's calming murmurs and the warm steam feel inexplicably deceptive. A moment, of, a moment of weakness and rest promises nothing but danger. Well, who doesn't like a nice hot bath? I mean, come on. Started. Nothing over there. This hefty tome contains schematics of the flagship of House von Valencius, in addition to a plethora of copies of reports and other documents. This majestic portrait, painted by a skilled artist, greets guests who have entered, been granted permission to enter the Lord Captain's quarters. That would be a uh, Theodora, my predecessor. And back to the void ship bridge. Everybody's ready for more orders, all right? Right, cat. Not its board. Scan is required. Let us begin the scan. The starport. Well, that seems the obvious place. I guess we're going to go down to the spa starport. Choose party members. I'm going to choose all of them. Everybody, come on down. Me, old man has watery eyes. It's weird. I get a watery eyes during the day and dry eyes at night. You think it should be the other way around? Game is out of Oh well. It's not like we're coming down into a fucking civil war or anything. Oh wait, it's a civil war. Hopefully we landed along amongst the good guys. The starport greets you with the din of ordnance and the smell of explosives tickles your nostrils. It's difficult to tell through the smoke who's firing at whom. Well, it's nice that we have a guy here with a sensor giving us a little incense to bless our ship. Sergeant Malgar, halt! Weapons on the ground or I'm firing. A man in a torn, dirty uniform hobbles towards you from behind the chunks of rockcrete and crumpled plasteel. His cracked helmet is adorned with a crooked label that reads Sergeant Malgor. All right, so our skies are in lockdown. The rebels are shooting down anything that flies, and you lot just happen to land in our rear without a scratch to show for it. And on a shuttle like that, where'd you get it? Stolen from the palace, isn't it? He's visibly awed by the resplendent gold of your transport. Grab him, lads. We've got ourselves a rebel landing force. Abelard turns purple. By the holy throne, what is this mess? Adira glances around. They're in a rough spot, old man. Go easy on them. 
enlightened this rabble about the proper manner of greeting God Emperor's chosen. It's so tempting to just be a complete and utter toll. Tool. Or toll. How dare you commoner on your knees before I blow your brains out. You must be mistaken. I'm the road trader von Valencius. Give me a status report this instant. I am the rogue trader, trader von Valencius. Give me a status report this instant. With a mixture of awe and terror, he snaps to attention, raises his freshly cut chin like an exemplary soldier, and barks, My mistake, sir! At once, the starport is under the control of the governor's wardens. Perimeter command is sergeant... Ooh, uh, frag grenade cuts off the rest of the sergeant's words. Shrapnel flies everywhere, the piercing screech, but evidently not hitting me or any of my friends. One of the soldiers falls to the ground, clutching the remains of his forearm that's now adorned with crimson tatters. Ow! Blood is pouring out of the stump, and the soldier's agony is short-lived. The sergeant curses and hastily says an army prayer for the dead. That uh, implies things aren't going ideally for the sergeant. With a rasping cough, the sergeant turns back to you. Pardon me, sir. Sergeant Lasse Malga reporting. My unit is holding the starport on the governor's orders. How may I serve? Some dirty dog nearly shot down my shuttle. What is going on here? Unrest, sir. Oh, thank you. Armed rebellions in both the capital and the provinces. First the lower level sparked, then it went up the spires. They hit the Vox hubs, the arsenals, the mag train stations. Thank God, not the brewery. Then Felic tore off his mask, precisely because he knew about the trouble on Rykad Menoris. He knew that none of our allies would come to our aid. You may continue to report, peasant. Thank you, Cassia. My unit was here when it all went to the Groxes. The tech priests linked to satellites reported sightings of strange void ships in the system. They were orbiting the star until one of them set course for landing on Rykad Majoris. The governor took precautionary measures, measures and ordered to increase security at the key facilities. Everyone knows that whenever something's not right, you better double the warden details. The alarm was raised, and we were sent to secure the starport. The only reason we were able to hold it. Unidentified void ship. According to the satellites, one of the unidentified void ships circling the nearby star landed on a large uninhabited planet. They're crushing us, the scumbags. It's been a whole turn since the last reinforcements came in. We're running low on ammo. Every other fighter is wounded. I don't know how bad it is in the streets, but they'll drive us out of here any minute. Uh, how can this pathetic rebellion cause enough for such a lackluster welcoming ceremony in the honor of a rogue traitor? It's an insult. Pat him on the shoulder. You're doing fine work, Malgar, and so are your troops. It's people like you that hold the Imperium together. I cannot leave you and your people without my aid. Reinforcements will be sent for my ship. What caused this rebellion? Ill thoughts, sir. Wow. Ill thoughts. If ill thoughts caused rebellion, they'd have hung me for treason years ago. We've fallen on hard times. The ground keeps shaking, things keep exploding, the people are scared, they've forgotten about their duty, and that's when those Emperor Forgive Me preachers came. They started riling everyone up. Sure enough, we shot a few, but they just kept coming more and more and more of them. I cannot leave you and your people without aid. Reinforcements will be sent from my ship. I live to serve! He's so astonished that he only barks out the mandated words of gratitude after a non-mandated lengthy pause. We won't fail, sir. We won't forget. We'll be praying to the Emperor for you, your lordship, sir. Do you happen to know if a member of the Inquisition has come here? At the word Inquisition, the sergeant's face fills with awe. I don't know, sir. There definitely haven't been any visitors like that on my watch. You might have to inquire at headquarters, your lordship, sir. Some dirty dog nearly shot down my shuttle. Affirmative, of your lordship. All those damned rebels, those maggots, somehow got their hands on anti-aircraft battery. And it's causing your shuttles no end of trouble. Our shuttles no end of trouble. That thing really packs a punch. You're lucky they missed you. I've seen them fry two shuttles carrying reinforcements. Not a soul survived. I'm going to see the governor. If I may report, sir, as long as the rebels keep shooting their damned anti-aircraft battery, there's absolutely no way to shuttle to the governor. You'd have to go on foot and the streets are dangerous. I have no one to send with you as an escort. I assigned all available troops to accompany the esteemed tech priest to the governor. I'll vox cast orders to them to wait for you, and I'll inform headquarters. They better send out a convoy to meet you halfway. Meanwhile, 
We'll follow the governor's orders and hold the line here. Adira frowns as her gaze grows distant, as if looking through the sergeant. You're a gold soldier, but you've got a lot of blood on your hands, both yours and others. You know, the same hand that salutes now might falter in darkness. Rank and epaulettes won't save you from the bitterness. Thanks, Adira. Way to perk up morale. Sergeant Malgar, pardon me, lady, but I can't get my head around these fancy words you're saying. I've seen plenty of blood, but trust me, I'll fight to the last drop. Path ahead dangerous? Well, that's a dumbass question. What tech priest? You're a good soldier. I'll see your heroism and noted you're a fool. The governor, who is safe and sound in the rear, has left you for dead. Good fighter would have long since reclaimed the starboard. No, uh, what tech priest? A very important person from Adeptus Mechanicus arrived on the last shuttle before they locked down the sky. He kept asking whether anyone by the name of Amarant or Amarnat or something like that had recently arrived. Barely answered any of our questions, though. He said he was under no obligation to tell us anything. He demanded to talk to the governor personally, so I had to send a quarter of my troops with him to keep trouble at bay. You're a good soldier, Malgar. I'll see that your heroism is noted. I live to serve. Another explosion interrupts the sergeant's words with a sigh of relief. He turns to his soldiers and spits out a booming series of commands. On your travels, you hear many rumors. Those of them that are deserving of rogue traders' attention are logged in a separate section of the journal. Sometimes the rumors are just that. Other times, there is truth to them. And in some cases, there may be even more. To verify a rumor, travel to the place indicated in the rumor's description. While traversing the Coronas Expanse as a rogue trader, you're bound to hear rumors regarding your own deeds and exploits, some of which reflect the reaction of the Expanse's denizens to the choices you've made. So, the rumor we just got, Warden of the Expanse, Lord Inquisitor Xavier Calcazar, we're looking for, and the unidentified void ship. According to satellites, one of the unidentified void ships circling the nearby star has landed on a large uninhabited world in the system. Well, we'll have to look into that, won't we? What do we got? We got guards, we got a dead guard. I just want to check and make sure he's actually dead. Uh, I'm not definitely not trying to see if it's anything worth uh, looting. I promise. Did you see that? They almost knocked us out of the air. Some bumbling idiot's going to regret that when he's dragged before the no, Lord Captain for no, questioning No, they're rebels. Trial. They shot at us. They're not going to be dragged I in front of me. I do not think the rogue trader We're should take a personal them. interest in a common crackpot. Summary execution will be sufficient. Thank you, Abelard. All right, back there we've got some loot. Obviously, we need to get the loot. I mean, that's just a given, right? Always keep your eye on the prize. I've, I've made it clear that loot is one of my priorities. Oh, more cargo. I had hope, hoped for more uh, from the cargo than just um, collections of stuff that we would trade to other people to raise our rep. I, I'd hoped that we'd have an in-depth crafting from, or, you know, uh, building out the ship or something. And that may be the case that we'll get that later. I don't know. Uh, well, we've got more loot over here, so... More, more loot. Let us not dawdle. I never dawdle. Uh, that's Sergeant Malgar. We've got dead guards. That's the exit. Loot, loot, loot. The maps. Is, is the map is one of my least favorite things about the game. It is really not very useful or functional. You will beg for mercy. All right, we've got a battle starting up. None. Crush him! Oh, that's not on. Get my characters into position first. Uh, who do we have? We have me. Uh, let's
let's see. That's half cover, half cover, half cover. You know what I like? Full cover. Oh, I can't reach that. It's gonna have to be half cover, I guess. Oh, that's full cover. No, I can't reach that. Curses. That's me. Abelard. Yida. Argenta. Cassia. Oh, she's going to give them the look of death. Oh, good. You buffed up all your friends. That's awesome. Why is the ring? Damaged one of my characters. Well, that's not going to stand, clearly. I don't think I have a, a line on him. I'll see to it personally. I won't stand for it. Let's see. My gut tells me it's a bad idea. Let's see. We'll kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Do we have a shot? On the rebel agitator? I won't compromise my principles. I, have a I won't I have no stand line for it. Anybody? Seriously? My gut tells me no it's a bad idea. I anybody. How did that happen? Right, Cassia. Perhaps you can give these unpleasant. Well, you'll get a couple of them. Grace, at least. Good work, Cassia. Thank you. Did he just shoot one of those guys? Abelard. No, Abelard's gonna have to. He's gonna have to take it. I don't like any of his options. None of them are making me happy here. All right, Abelard. They're gonna shoot at you, probably a lot. At your beck and call. And that did nothing. Uh, it will be done. It will be done. Argenta, does she have a shot at anybody? Well, I don't want to hit our own freaking player, friend. Uh, is that gonna hit? No, it won't hit her. It's gonna hit him. As the Emperor commands, I act. Or I'm just gonna completely miss all my shots, which is. I'm gonna go disappointing. Show me what you've got. Time Ooh. to slaughter someone. Time to slaughter someone. Idira, how about you move down to there? What is this foreboding? What is this foreboding? You're kind of concerned because people are shooting at you. Oh, I can reach him? That's On it! Momentum. We're right, we have momentum! Operative immediately inflicts an exploit on all enemies in combat, then makes a free attack against a target. That attack always hits. Sure. Uh, oh, one enemy within a 
one cell radius. When any within the weapon range. There we go. How about that? Not the scryer's job. Too far. That is not my destiny. Too far, so we can't do anything with that, Satan. Hold on! Do it. It. Scared yet? They Here killed, we go. They killed one of their own. Let's get to it. My face shoots me. How? All right, so uh, I, I moved to really good cover, but couldn't shoot from the really good cover. So I'm going to move to here, where I can shoot from really good cover. Uh, let's now we're going to let uh, Abelard deal with that one. Wow, there's an awful lot of these uh, unfortunate individuals. Uh, let's see, this is like the leader dude over here. I doubt I've got an angle on him. I do. In which case, I it's will, as good as done. I will delete him. Your end was inevitable. Like that. Didn't want to do it. Had to do it. You know, sometimes a person just needs to be taught a really, really unpleasant lesson. Instead, I think I will We are going to attempt to bring it down on Avalon. If only that were possible. Too far? What's the range on that? Four cells. Seriously? If you insist, Lord Captain. All right, Abelard's buffed and ready to go. I got a couple of them. Let's make it quick. Let's make it quick. Abelard, he's just really not very fast at getting into fights. When he gets into fights, things tend to die in a most rapid fashion. I'm going to go ahead and endure. Argenta. God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. She's really got away with words. Idira. She reaches. They who discern the future own the battlefield. She should be able to visit the three of them. But of course. That Damn was it. worth it. Oh. oh, we get one over here too? We got a bunch of them. We got all kinds of them. We got all of them. Holy shit. Nice work, Adira. Impressive. I tell you, Abelard is great one on one, but Adira, when she's got a close shot, she annihilates stuff, and so does Cassia. I'm great with a single target. I, and they're down. But these two, holy crap. Uh, we leveled up. All of us. First thing. Let's see. Tide. These are what? Available talents. Got the killing plan. Let's grab something out of here. What is combat master? Enemies gain no melee superiority. I, I melee? Melee? Or as some people say it, incorrectly, 
Billy? Advanced skill persuasion. What's my current persuasion? Not great. So we're going to grab that. Next up, the common talent. While avoid wound character with more than 50% wounds. I hope to never get over 50% wounds. Avoid wound character and use intelligence instead. My intelligence is pretty high. My fellowship isn't. Let's go with that. Now, to be clear, uh, a lot of this stuff I don't understand. I'm going with what sounds cool or interesting or appropriate. Uh, we've already got the carouse. We're really good at carousing. We have an 85 at carousing. We can carouse with the bleeping best of them. Athletics. Coercion. Demolition. Medicaid. Uh, I, th I think we're going to go with athletics. And then in here, ooh, epicenter of slaughter. Whenever he's attacked, he gains a stack of epicenter of slaughter until the end of combat, at the end of their turn. He gains one temporary wound for each stack, cannot exceed six. Hard to say no to a skill with a name like that. Do not falter. Get to cover all allies affected by breaks to impact. Gain an extra turn with 0 AP and 3 MP. And increase their cover efficiency. That seems good. Get to cover! It's like get to the chopper, except um, without the Austrian accent. These are broken up into batches. They don't do a very good job of drawing that out. There's talents, and then there's talents based on the origin of the character, and then there's talents based on the sort of base class of the character. This is an, she, this, she is an Imperial World character, so she has access to these particular skills. So, ooh, power conduit. After triggering a psychic phenomenon, our powers will warp the first time. Each turn, Psyker's next psychic power costs one less action point. Features high rating zero. Psychic barrage. Whenever the Psyker uses a damaging psychic power on targets that are six cells or further. Ooh, additional damage. Me likey. And let's see, unnatural luck when they use a divination psychic power on an ally. Without an unnatural luck effect, that ally gains unnatural luck. Talk me into it. I talk me into it. I am a very persuasive person. I do tend to listen to me when I tell me stuff. Argenta. Camaraderie. Each adjacent ally. Well, most of the time she's not going to have adjacent allies because adjacent allies become convenient targets for grenades. Cover efficiency increased. She's in cover a lot. That seems good. And we want more demolition on her. She's our demolitions expert. Nice. And that leaves Cassia. Blood of Martyrs. Whenever an ally uses a heroic, that ally gains temporary wounds equal to 10% of their maximum wounds. Okay, that's Blood of Martyrs. It's a great name. Blood Augury. Enemies damaged by the navigators suffer additional damage from warp damage. Yeah, I like that. Sure. And let's see your current stats. Lore Imperium Awareness. Lore Warp. Seems like it would be good. Yeah, I'm going to go Lore Warp. And we have all leveled up, because we're just that awesome. I'm going to save here.
couple of my people got a little bit dinged up, but not much. We got a bunch of bodies. And we've got some loot boxes. But I think I'm going to call it here for the evening. It seems like a convenient break point. As I broke them all up by um, mostly using psychic powers out them. Frankly, so far in the game, psychic powers seem to be hugely overpowered as Adira can wipe out three or four to pop and Cassia can do the same thing. Uh, to this point, we don't have any firepower effects that have similar ability to just end an entire combat in a couple of clicks. Uh, okay, unless I have too many of these lovely alcoholic beverages this evening, I should be back tomorrow at my usual time of 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern, middle of the night in Europe. Uh, probably with more of this here game. Uh, I believe also tomorrow we are getting the big POE announcement. There was a big get-together in L.A. a couple of days ago that they flew in like 40 streamers and stuff to play the game, and they're all sworn to NDAs until tomorrow. And we get to see they all played POE 2, and they gave feedback and went through various stuff. We'll, we'll see about it tomorrow. They're all allowed to talk about it tomorrow, so we'll hear about it then. So that's the POE 2 content we'll see. Maybe we can get an indication as to when we're going to get PoE2. We know that, at least right as of now, the last that we'd heard was September was the target date for the closed beta, which to me means early to middle of next year as, as a launch, unless tomorrow we get news that things are a little closer than that to completion. Uh, but if I'm back tomorrow, which I'm, I'm saying probably... 70-30. Uh, more of Rogue Trader, which is going great. The only frustrations I have, in a lot of cases, we, we had the little glitch when the characters split up and I had to I had hop through hoops to get everything working again, is the map. The map is terrible. It desperately needs an indicator of where there is a door. And it needs a different icon for a dead body than for a box of loot. It just needs... It needs to be cleaned up. And this, the vision icon, is is not a, a, a useful thing, generally speaking. Uh, that's my biggest complaint. The game is good. It's solid. Storylight's fun. Everything that's happening is a little bit, at, so far, too predictably Warhammer 40k. Rebellion, Prison Rebellion, Rebellion, so far. It's been the three places we've landed, generally speaking. Uh, hopefully it'll diversify a bit. I don't expect happy love and shiny times, because it's Warhammer 40k, but so far, that's a little bit samey. Uh, so hopefully we get a wider variety of things other than, oh, Heretics Rebellion game is good, though. Like it a lot. I will return tomorrow at the usual time, knock on wood. If not, Friday. At the usual time. Probably back here with this. Uh, I hope you found something of entertainment value this evening. Uh, but I'm going to let you go. And uh, just want to say again, thanks for hanging out. Uh, should be back tomorrow. Hopefully you'll see me soon. Have a great Wednesday night. Wednesday, right? Wednesday? Wednesday. A great Wednesday night, and uh, you're now on the downhill slide towards your weekend. Hopefully, it's painless. Back tomorrow. Hopefully, you see me soon. Have a great night tonight. Take care, and ciao for now.